everyone. So we are here cooking a whole bunch of food in celebration of this one right here. I'm so excited and I will let her tell you the news. This morning I received an email that I got into the University of St. Andrews in Scotland. Yay! We are so excited. I studied there for a year, um, like study abroad and I absolutely loved it. So for her to maybe have four years there is so exciting to me and I really hope that I guess for my benefit we go and visit um then I'm gonna be in Prague all of next year so we might both be in Europe which is really fun yes. so we're gonna do some celebrating today and I will catch up with you a little bit later Those cinnamon rolls were literally so good. Highly recommend making them yourself. They were only 45 minutes and it was like the easiest recipe ever. But now I have just come down to downtown Portland. I've been here for about three hours now and I was working at this place called the Blanchet House. I have a little volunteer sticker here. It just says volunteer Blanchet House. And what the Blanchet House is, it is a nonprofit that uh, feeds the homeless basically. So um, places in Oregon or Portland mainly who like restaurants that have leftover food, uh, give it to the Blanchet House and the Blanchet House prepares it and gives it to basically anyone who shows up. So I was helping prepare and serve the food, which was a lot of fun. I think that a lot of people aren't doing the same charitable work that they would be doing because of COVID. Um, and I think that there are still good ways that you can uh, go and, you know, help nonprofits. So we were all six feet apart when serving and we all wore masks, things like that. So I think it's still important to do that stuff. And I had a lot of fun. Um, and as I was driving back, I'm driving back home right now. Uh, there was just a lot of places in Portland that I kind of wanted to show you uh, and just kind of show you how the downtown Portland is right now. It is not really good. A lot of things are boarded up. Um, I'll show you like the mall is boarded up. A lot of like the bigger like chain stores are all boarded up. Whereas the smaller ones, I guess, don't have the resources to do that. Um, or just don't have the product to make it worthwhile. Uh, so it's just kind of sad and... Um, I also show you voodoo and there's the river and then there's also some really amazing murals up right now. So I will turn you around and show you those. <laughs> pizzas so we have our dough here and then we have all of our kind of toppings that's left over from breakfast still and we have one already made 
Yum, that looks so good. Again, leftovers from breakfast. People have just been nibbling on them. But wow, this is going to be so good for lunch. After making everyone else food, I was so hungry. Hey you guys, it's a little bit later now. I just got out of a meeting for the class board and I've just come to the mall with my sister. We're gonna do a little bit of Christmas shopping. As you can see, there are so many lights up. There's a tree over there in the distance, very festive. So we're just gonna go look around, see if there are any good sales and I'll catch up with you later. bunch of different rolls in here they are the best sushi in Portland here's their little logo we have a Northwest Philly roll we have two green machine rolls these are my favorite they are so good we have a California roll and two tempura rolls. I'm so excited to dig in. These look so amazing. Night, everyone.